What's happening, my friend? Not much, not much. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to the next level. All right. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is, first of all, you got any questions? No. All right. So, what I want you to do is, me and you and some buddies hanging out anywhere. Uh-huh. And you're going to give a little overview not going through the lesson, but you're going to give me an overview of what our lesson is for today. You're going to kind of like give me an overview of what we're going to be talking about, me and you as a teacher. So you're just hanging out and you're just having a conversation about real estate with anybody. So okay. uh, someone said, hey, Kelly, what do you do, man, with this real estate, Ricardo? So... I kind of walk you through it, but you kind of start out. What are you going to be talking about with so I'm a, me uh, with the lesson? I'm a wholesaler. Are you a wholesaler? Okay. Yes. What, are they, what does a wholesaler do, man? I don't know about that. I just see the HGTV show. So I go and I find you properties for uh, uh, with a 25% ROI uh, twenty and a 20% profit margin. All right. So that's a lot of stuff, but... I'm a guy that doesn't know anything, so what you just said was kind of Greek. Go give okay. me a third grade level. What do you do, first of all, as a wholesaler? So what I do, Terry, I go out and find properties, and I get them at 70 cents on a dollar. And okay. I, I, I give the owners an offer. Typically, I look for distressed properties, and I get them for a discount, and then I um I offer them to a cash buyer which would be your rehabbers typically. And I charge a, a, a assignment fee of $5,000. Okay, now that made a lot of sense right there. That was crystal clear. All right, why why, uh, why do you need uh, this, what you call that person you're gonna be working with? Cash buyer. Why do you need a cash buyer? Because the cash buyer is the person that um, performs rehabs on the homes and all that I do is I get it for a wholesale fee and I assign it to the cash buyer okay and the cash buyer person's got the money to close the deal right yes they got all the money okay and what you do you don't need to use what I don't need to use any of my money credit no credit. Uh, you don't need to qualify for no bank loans. You don't, you know, you, you don't need nothing but the uh, knowledge to go out and find these great deals. Got it. Right? Yes. Hopefully you're recording, man. Cause no, I'm recording. recording. Good, good, good. All right, now, why does a, a, a cash buyer need you? Man? Well, a cash buyer doesn't really need me. But the reason why a cash buyer would need me because it would save them a lot of time having to go and find the properties themselves. Even though, you know, they can get the property from me for a small fee that they're going to be paying me, but they're going to be able to make a lot more money off the deal. So they don't mind doing a deal with me as a wholesaler. Okay, so kind of like this. It's just you, you have a, uh, your position is the same as a, a grocery store. The grocery store doesn't make the beans that goes in the can or the meat. Someone provides the can of beans and the grocery store marks it up and they sell it to a end user. Uh. So they buy it at a low price, they raise it, and then they pass it on to the end buyer and the little spread there is what the wholesaler does. So, you know, this mm. business has done a lot. Okay. Um, they're just taking it and using this house in houses. Got it. That's a little different twist, little see. You got yeah, as you get better and better, man, you're gonna be like, Wow Yeah, I like the way wow. you broke that down. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I, I did a pitch today, man, with uh, a person. Shit, they said, hey, we want to make you head of all of California. Ooh. I smoked them, man. I smoked them with enthusiasm. I smoked them with facts. And then I showed them my student that just made that 65 grand. Oh, yeah. 
Did you see that? No, I didn't. See. Oh, you're talking about the video. I remember it was like 50 something grand. Did it come up? I, oh, man, dang. See, that's why you gotta be on my YouTube, man. I already bought something else out. 65,000. Woo wee. 65,000, man. Same girl. She's Oh, the same girl? And, and she told you, same deal. She told you the numbers of how she was gonna do it. And you can go back to that one, look at it, you go, damn, she was right on the money with her numbers. Why was she right on the money and numbers? You gotta listen to her, man. Everything I put out there, man, there's so many nuggets in there, but most people, they don't go deep, man. They gotta listen to it. Okay, what's next, Terry? Damn, I just gave you a million dollars worth of information. Man. You didn't even, you didn't even get it. Man, I suck everything for every single ounce I can get it for. I'm gonna be boohooing my first check like that. Man, so we, we had a good time. Listen, listen, listen. It, it was 15 minutes. Uh, woo, 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 wait, raise the roof. Raise your hands up in the air. Oh, man. I gotta what check that up? video out. <laughs> hey, where you from? Where, where you live at? I live in Virginia right now. Okay, well, she's in Georgia. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, man. You're, you're just, so go listen to it. Anyway, here's one more spin I want to get you. Bar none. Uh huh. Why are we in this business? Why are you in business? Why am I in business? Why is cash buyer in business to do what? To make money. That's it. Bottom line is, I know how to make my cash buyers money. They like me because I make them money. Absolutely. But see, how do you make them money? You make them money by what you first started talking to me about. How do you make me money? I'm a cash buyer, Ricardo. Tell me how you make me money. What you? What do you get from me? What do I get from you? What do? What do I? I'm the cash buyer. What do I get from you? If I get money, Terry, I'm hmm. gonna make you money. So I go and get you. I save you time. No, I didn't say nothing about time. The hell with time. You're gonna make me what? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna find you properties with a twenty percent profit margin. Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. Oh no, simple, simple fly, simple fly. Terry, I'm gonna make you money. Say that, Ricardo. I'm gonna make you money. Why do I? Terry, I'm gonna make you money. Why do you need me? I couldn't hear what you said. Why do you? Why do I need you? You need me because. Just say what I told you to say, Ricardo. Don't try to overthink it, man. Terry, I'm going to do what? I'm going to... Make you money, Terry. Come I'm gonna on. I'm going to make you money. Ricardo. I'm going to make you money. Dude, that's all you got to say. It ain't that hard. Ricardo, what makes you different than anybody else out there, any other wholesalers? Nothing. Except that I have more knowledge. Ricardo, just listen to me. Terry, I'm going to make you money. Terry, I'm going to make you money. Ricardo, I'm not going to, I, I'm not going to say this another time. I told you three times what to say. <laughs> and you're trying to come up with some other stuff. I got a student right now, man. He went to my program two or three times, paid me about three times. Dude didn't take me serious. Mm. And he went out and started doing some other stuff. He's so lost right now. He's seen that $65,000 video. He was like, man, I'm talking to the wrong people. I said, yeah, man, I did that before in my life, too. Mm. Have a good day. Bye. Well, you know what I'm going to do now, man? I'm going to just try to get one deal, and then I'm going to, yeah, man, you're just talking the same old crap you've been talking. <laughs> you ain't going to do jack shit, but talk. That's all you are is talk, 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 talk. So I try to get him real short. Hey, man, all right, go, go kill it, man. Bye. <laughs> I seen him marketing some stuff that wasn't even what I taught him, man. I got another guy that I was telling you about. He out there, man, trying to, I'm going to look for deals. I said, dude, ain't no use you going to look for nothing because you don't know what you're looking for. Mm. You don't even know where to go to look for what you're looking for. You ain't not even know your message, man. I said, you were writing offers at 65%. I didn't even teach you that. Wow. Wow. 
the guys ain't hungry enough, man. They ain't doing no studying. They ain't, I mean, it's like, okay, all right, so these laws, now I told them, hey, go find out what your foreclosure laws is in your state. Call me back when you got that. And he said, well, you know, I'm going to look for people in distress. I said, what are you going to do when you meet them? Well, I'm going to write them up an offer. I said, man, somebody's going through a divorce, dealing with debt, and you're going to try to get their house the low market value? I said, man, somebody will cuss you out or run you out. They're going to cuss you out. Because if they run you out with something, you deserve it. Mm. I said, man, you better have more compassion than that. Mm. I said, dude, this ain't just make an offer just because you're a wholesaler. There's some emotion, man. You got to come in there like, hey, you know, I uh, started to hear about, you know, your problems and your issues. I'm a real estate investor, and, you know, I might be able to have a solution that can help you out of your situation. Do you need my help? Uh -huh. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to offer you 65% of the value of your house so I can go out and make some money. Like, look, man, I just had a death in the family. I think there's going to be another death in this property if you don't get the hell out of here. All right, Cardo. Why do I need you, Cardo? Because I'm going to make you money. That's it. That's what makes the world go round, man. Everything else, Ricardo, is a bunch of crap. Mm, okay. And anything else, you're wasting my time, man. I don't care nothing about you or smarter than average. I don't care nothing about, you know, you better looking. I don't care nothing about you went to college. None of that. Got matters. you. So that answer right there is good enough. I'm going to make you money. That's it. Man, you better get that in your head because that's the only thing I want to hear. Ricardo, you found the house, didn't you? I did. Okay, what's the ARB? What's the repairs, Ricardo? The ARB is 150000 The repairs is 20000 I already know what my profit should be, Ricardo. As soon as you said that, I already know what my profit should be. So I'm going to ask you real quick, how much profit can I make a boom? You should never get an answer. 30,000. Now, now, the thing of it is, not every cash buyer is sharp. Uh, some of them, some of them, you know, low, low rusty and slow. You don't get bored with them because it's just all over the board. Gotcha. Right? All right, so you said you can make me what? Money. Right, so Carter, when you find houses, you're going to get me what? ROI, what profit margin percentage based on the R? I'm going to give you, based on the R, your ROI is going to be 25% and your profit margin is going to be 20%. That's the way you buy houses, Ricardo. Terry, I'm going to make you money. Well, Carter, how are you going to make you money? Because every deal that I bring is going to bring you a 25% and a ROI and a 20% profit margin. Profit margin. Mm, that, I like that right there. That's professional. Yeah, that's it. Every single time. No matter what you find as an R, it will produce 25% ROI and a 20% profit margin. Gotcha. All right. Now, let me try and break this down just a little bit more. One fifty. Give me a second, I'm thinking out loud. Okay, remember we did the circle? Yes, I remember that. All right, so what's my, on this deal, what's my total investment? Your total investment is 120000 120. Okay, multiply. Okay. What is my profit margin percentage again? Your profit margin percentage is 20%. 20%. So if you had 100% and my profit is 20%, everything else is investment. Okay? How much percentage is left over? If the whole pie is 100% and you took out 20%, Ricardo, what percentage is left over? 80%. That is your total investment. Try it on the deal you found. Multiply the R times 80%. Ricardo, what will you get? Give me one second. You got to get good 
good with that calculator, man. That's your best friend. One twenty thousand, hundred twenty thousand. Very good. And isn't that the total investment? Yep. Yes, sir. So if you can figure on every deal that you find, Ricardo. How much percentage goes to my profit? Eighty percent. How much percentage goes to my profit, Ricardo? Twenty percent. Twenty percent. And everything left over is what? It's eighty percent. And that is called what? Total investment. Total investment. You got to get this in your head now. Here we go. A million dollar property, or a million dollar or How much, Ricardo? A million dollar ARV. You found it. Uh huh. I don't need to know nothing else. All right, Terry, got a million dollar ARV. Great, Ricardo. What's my profit? Two hundred thousand. What's my total investment? Total investment is. Hold on one second. Oh, that took too long, Ricardo. Just subtract two hundred thousand from a million. What's left over? Two hundred thousand from eight hundred thousand. That's right. See, that's how your brain got to move, man. Damn, I could have just did it that way. I'm over here thinking about the formula. <laughs> yeah, you make it too hard on yourself, man. You gotta listen and boom. But see, yes. you rusty. That's all. You just rusty, and this is how I sharpen you. So, how much is my total investment in a million dollar house? Your total investment is eight hundred thousand. And what's included in that total investment? Your your repair and cost. My repairs is one. You did good there. Don't 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 short me out. There's still some more. What goes in there? What goes in your repair? Where are you at? Are you on my profit side or are you on the investment side? I'm on the investment side. Right. So you got repairs and what else? Uh, closing cost. Closing cost. What else? Um, How do you get paid, Ricardo? How do I get paid? Oh, the assignment fee. Right. And what else? There's one more thing. And you can't do nothing until you get something accepted from the owner, so what? You need the... I can't do nothing until I get it accepted from the owners. Right. The owner's got to agree to take your, the price you're going to offer. Oh, the right. offer. Right. The offer. So what's all the total investment, Ricardo? You've got to remember that. Drive this point home. That 800000 includes what? The 800000 includes the... Come on, uh, you just gave it to me. Don't go short now. You gave me a couple of things. Go ahead and give them back to me again. What is that 800000 Closing cost. Um, the offer. The uh, assignment fee. And... Closing cost for assignment fee and repairs. <laughs> uh, I see it, man. We can have a conversation real short. Ricardo, you found a million dollar arm, right? Uh huh. What's my profit? Two hundred thousand. What's the I mean, what's the uh, total investment? Total investment is eight hundred thousand. And what's included in total investment, Ricardo? Your closing cost, your repairs, um, the assignment fee, and the offer. What's my ROI, Ricardo? Your ROI is 25%. And what's my uh, profit margin percentage, Ricardo? Your profit margin is 20%. How long is it going to take me to do the deal, Ricardo? 60 to 90 days. Boom. How did I get those numbers, Ricardo, from the model that I'm teaching you? The 150R and the 20 repairs, that is your model. That's exactly how we flip a burger. I don't care where you get the burger at. Yes, sir. We always use this over and over and over and over and over again. So when my student goes out and he starts trying to do 65%, I'm like, dude, where'd you get that from? Mm. Why do you do it? It don't make no sense. You can't explain it. Why did you start doing 65? Wow. He can't explain it. He picked it up watching somebody, and he said, you know what, I'm going to do 65 instead of 70. Well, God, you can do 65, but you ain't got a clue why it works. You know so why you stuff that don't make no sense? You're out of business, man. You know why I think people do it that way? They change up like that? When they're not getting results they want right away. Yeah, 
Yeah, but it ain't the results from changing the numbers. The results, you ain't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The system, McDonald's, works. Yeah. People pay good money for McDonald's because it works. But, don't go out and try to do Burger King after you done paid for McDonald's. Yeah, a lot of people don't trust the process. And they ain't patient. They don't want to yeah. learn and study it, man. They want to do TikTok. Hey, let me just do a three-second video and make a thousand bucks. All right, you ain't going to last. I know you ain't going to last. All right, Ricardo. Again, let's do this one more time. You found the house. The harvest, what, 150? Yes, sir. Uh, what's my profit, Ricardo? Your profit is thirty thousand dollars. What's my total investment, Ricardo? Your total investment is one hundred twenty thousand dollars. And what's included in that total investment of one hundred twenty thousand dollars? What's included in that total investment is closing costs. Okay, now give me exact numbers because you know those for this. One. Uh, so it's fifteen thousand for your um, closing costs. Um, eighty-five thousand for come on, come on. eighty-five thousand for the offer and the assignment fee. Um, closing costs to assignment fee and twenty thousand dollars for your repairs. Uh, what's my ROI? Your ROI is twenty-five percent. What's my profit margin percentage? Your profit margin percentage is twenty percent. Every single house, Ricardo. Every single house. You got to know these numbers. So when you come in, hey, Jerry, I got a deal. All right, Ricardo, tell me about the deal. Oh, man, it's by the light rail. They've got a Kentucky Fried Chicken with them fish sandwiches that they sell. It's over by the mall. Oh, man, in the school district is like the number one school district. They've got fireplace, fire pit. This place got fire everywhere. Ricardo, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, Man, call me back on the 30 30 this month. No, this way straight to the point. There's no time to be on the phone for 30 minutes talking about a deal. What it don't take all that. You can you can but simplify see, this in five minutes. Right, but see, you got to understand it. You got to go deep in your brain so that you can bounce. Here's the problem. You're going to find cash buyers that just, they're, they're, they're all over the board. Hey, Ricardo, I'm a cash buyer. Okay, what's your ROI you like? I don't know. What's your profit margin? I don't know. What kind of total investment would you make on a property that's 150 grand and 20 repairs? I don't know. Okay. I'll call you back on the 33rd. You don't tell them that, but that's what you're thinking. Yeah, you ain't got a clue what you're doing like that. You don't want to be cash buyer. Uh, but ain't nothing wrong with that because I'm an investor trying to be who want to be too. But I just have to have a great teacher that showed me how to cut out these guys that ain't got a clue. Hey, Ricardo, I'm a wholesaler, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm like, my, my name is Wholesaler Terry. I got a deal for you, Ricardo. This deal, you can make some money on. It's by the mall and it's by, there's an airport about 15 minutes away. And the realtor that's representing this property is my uncle. And uh, this property used to be down the street from where I lived at. It's got uh, a chimney, it's got a, a, a sunroom and a pool and a, um, and a pool table. Dude, get to the point. How much is our, how much is repairs? Mm. How much is total investment? How much profit is in there? Yes, sir. Explain to me how you got total investment. What's the ROI? What's the profit margin? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you know what? I'm getting ready to go to a meet. I'm going to call you back on the 33rd. Hmm. So, Ricardo, you got to cut the crap, man. You listen to enough of these knuckles, like my student. He's going through my program. He is ready to do notes. Mm -hmm. He can't explain 65%. Oh, the, that's the one that switched up. Yeah, he just switched up on me. But he's looking for you because he's trying to make some money. Hey, Ricardo, I got some crap I'm going to load on you. Let's, 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 let's do this deal. And you don't know any better. You're thinking he knows what he's doing. And he ain't got a clue. And you can't, you ain't checked him out. And he ain't met none of your qualifications. Hey, dude, call me back on the 33rd. I ain't got time to be wasting with guys like you that don't have a clue what you're talking about. Uh. Don't waste time. I had a guy call me yesterday. Hey, man, I want to buy your house. Yeah, you do? Okay. How much? He said, well, how much you want for it? I said, a million. He says, let me ask you a question. I ask all the questions you want. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he says, we pay all cash. He says, how much, you know, would you like to sell it for? I said, a million. I told you that when you first called me, it was a million dollars. He said, well, we don't think it's worth that. I said, well, right now it's worth $600,000. I said, but I'm going to add a, uh, a premium on it because one day it's going to be worth a million. Uh, we're not, in, uh, why are you not interested? You want to buy my house? I gave you a price. You 
take your value, it's going to be worth a million. Call me back on the 33rd, man. See, I play with them, man. I play with them. I have fun with them. <laughs> they don't know that you're an investor yourself. <laughs> Hey, here's another Ricardo. Cryptocurrency guy calls. Hey, man, we got cryptocurrency. We're going to give you a 7% return on your money. So hold on, man. Time out. 7%? I said, he goes, yeah, that's 7%. Good dude. I don't get out the bed. Middle I'm going to look at is what ROI? 25%. I said, dude. You might do better than that if you want me to get involved. I said, man, I'm a real estate guy. I'll pull in 25% minimum ROI. Mm. So if you can't do that, man, hey, you have a great day. Call me back on the 33rd. Bye. Get off my phone. See, Carlos? I'm Carlos, I'm sorry. Ricardo? Mm. See, this is what happens when you know your numbers. Yeah, definitely. I like, I like this formula. It works. Oh, that's one of those, man. It's you got to gotta get that thing down. You mean like, it's got to be like blood, blood, I gotta get air, in my veins. 70%. <laughs> I got to get this in my veins. See, what you got to do is go back and listen to the recording, man. And see, I talk fast. So you're going to put that recording on, and while I'm talking, you got to be able to get the numbers out before I'm even finished and moved on to the next thing. Gotcha. That's how you test yourself. Because I just sent you around a few times here. I ain't even asked you for the pitch yet. You can see, don't get used to, oh, Terry's on, have me do the pitch, and I got that pitch memorized, and I'm going to just go off memory. Uh -huh, I'm going to throw, throw some hiccups in there. The real world is all about adapting, changing, moving, being flexible. It ain't never going to be as simple as one, two, three. Mm, yep, no, I got you. <laughs> all right, pitch me a deal. Hey, Terry, I, I found a house. The ARV is $150,000. It needs $20,000 in repairs. The owners are going through a divorce. They asked for $89,000. I offered them $80,000, and they accepted. Now, what I want to do is flip it to you for a fee of $5,000. Tell me what I get, because you ain't said nothing yet. What do I get now? That's the, that's the juicy. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> so you're going to get a profit of $30,000. Your total investment is going to be $120,000. Your return on investment is going to be $25,000. Uh, your your profit, return on investment is going to be what? 25%. Your profit margin is going to be 20%. And the deal is going to take 60 to 90 days. Oh, good. Ricardo, why do I need you? Because I'm going to make you money. <laughs> yes, sir. Every deal I bring you, Terry, is going to have a profit built into it of 20% of the R. I love it. Every deal I bring you, Terry, is going to be 20% of the R. That's your profit margin, Terry. That's your, pro that's your money, 20%. 20%. I don't care what the house is, it's going to be 20%. You get that in the 11 houses, Ricardo. You create a 20% profit on every house. That's how you're able to play the game. Mm-hmm. Now I want you to send me a copy of this because I got a new role coming up, and this is perfect for teaching. So, Ricardo, what am I doing? I'm practicing on you. I'm practicing on my skill, and then I'm going to find it, and I'm going to teach the other people what I'm teaching to you and blow their mind. Okay, I got to figure out how I'm going to put this on uh, there you go. the copy of this. <laughs> yeah, because guess what? You need to start saving your content, know where the content's at, go to it, and study it, take it out, move it, blah, blah, blah. Hey, you're going to have a team of 50 cash buyers. All right, you guys, I want you to listen to this recording. We're going to have to be on uh, Zoom on Saturday, and I want you guys to consume this material, and you better be ready because I want the best, the best, the best. Now you got your employees. Nice. Now you run at McDonald's. Nice, nice, nice. From what I taught you, because you get it. My numbers is your numbers, and it better be their numbers. If they ain't numbers they ain't good like our numbers, guess what? See you on the 33rd, man. <laughs> Ricardo was in this to do what? What'd you say? I can't hear you. Ricardo was in this business to do what? Make money. And y'all better be in the business and make some money for yourself. Because if y'all ain't making no money for you, and ain't making no money for me, see ya. On the 33rd. <laughs> yeah. I like that uh, 
because I'm going to make you money. That answer right there is bold. I like it. <laughs> Hold on one second. Get out 
out there, Ricardo, and you start knocking out the park, and it's, it's easy, it's because you put your work in. Yes, sir. Every day, my student that made 65, you will hear her say, she started with me five years ago, Ricardo. Oh, wow. She did well up until this point in her fifth year. She's knocking down a $65,000 check in your five. We'll cover them. If you can. Hello? You cut off a little bit. Hello? That's what most people make in a year and a half, two years. Three years for some people, man. I you, you cut off for a little bit. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I said that sixty-five thousand dollars she made is the, the equivalent of what some people make in a year and a half, two years, two and a half, three years at a job. Oh yeah, definitely. Come on, come on, man. Why do I need to work at a job to get that when I can do one real estate deal? Come on, I'm excited. I like to get up early, go to bed late. Oh my I'm getting gosh! Hi, Ricardo. I gotta go have dinner, brother. All right. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Give me the coffee, man. Get on that right away and do your work. Will do. Will do. Thank you for your time. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye.